Good morning, New York. Privateer FX coming at you at the New York Open. You guys just walked in. Very, very little going on. Cable was a big mover. Up to... What did we get up to first time? Up to 26, down to 90, and then up to 63. Now back down to 25, we're at 35.6. If you look at what's happening here, uh, looks like we might be in the midst of some sort of wobbly breakout. Very hard to trade, of course, uh, with these 30, 40 point pullbacks. But if you think about GDP tomorrow, are we going to break 134.74 tomorrow? which means we'll have to close above 134.10 today. Cautious cable long. Looks like it might be the way. The participants in the market are pretty confused whether this is good or bad for cable. Davis resigns, supposed to be bad. Soft Brexit, supposed to be good. Yada, yada, yada. Price says it's good. So, Euro Sterling hasn't broken yet. You can imagine this 88 the figure is going to be in play. Today we traded down to 11, which is where we had that sort of gap open uh, last night in Asia. Bullshit gap open. Uh, ripped higher right away. But now back testing, probing. Hmm. We need a little proctology exam here. Don't know. But. Again, this looks like there's some clear air here, uh, below 88 to figure. Sterling Yen's broken, up through 90. Again, choppy, but broken. Are we going to break 148.10 tomorrow? Perhaps. So that's your Sterling story. Dollar Yen, we're still waiting for 30 to break. It is dull as dishwater. I think it's been 39.49 for four hours. I'm tired of talking about dollar yen. 200 days at 13. Got to keep that in mind as well. Equities remain bid. Makes zero sense to me. Um, you know, the big point is when we were talking about this two weeks ago, 128.08. If you look back on the 2008-2009 crisis. You'll see that we had the down move sideways, and then in the summer we just had a peak over the uh, over the last marginal high, and then we we got slammed starting that fall. I don't know. Is history going to repeat itself? Are we going to get a little peak over 2809, and then a slam? I'm going to have that bet on if we get up there, but um, Lord knows uh, we got to watch out for Trump and. NATO and North Korea and Trump balloons in London. The political news wire is going to be annoying this week. Elsewhere, dollar Swiss traded down to 55. That kind of matches up. If you think dollar is going to continue to head lower, uh, which fits our cable scenario, there's probably going to be some stops below 55 now. Eurien's dead. Uh, dollar CAD, we got uh, the BOC later this week. Pretty dead. I think it's been 70, 85. Should be support at 50. Might be a sneaky purchase down that way. And then you look for the position tidy up pre BOC. I don't know. Could be a trading plan. I won't be trading that, but you can see the logic in that. Certainly, this death knock here um, on 29.90 for this long-term trend line. So, I mean, you got support between 50 and the figure. I know that doesn't help too many people, but God knows. Put a plan together. Uh, we got sterling uh, in our sights here, and we'll be f screwing around with euro sterling through those levels I mentioned. Otherwise, uh, dollar rand, 
broken through some important levels here, but just messy. Look at the five minute here, it's just clunky. Down to 34, back up to 40. Just crappy, crappy markets for now. Um, so we're keeping it light, trying to uh, get some early profits in the books this week and focus basically on sterling. Dollar CAD's worth a look and S&P's. Still another 40 points till we get to that crucial level, but keep it in mind. That's all I got today. I wish you all luck on this pleasant Monday. I will see you tomorrow.